what's good, Fight Fans? It's Ashley's Corner. And I came across another Chris Van Herden video um, about him asking, well, him talking about his last fight with uh, Earl Spence Jr. I see it's a couple of videos with him talking a little bit about Earl Spence Jr. And this one I really didn't see until yesterday. But um, he said that uh, he was trained by Freddie Roach when he uh, was supposed to fight Earl Spence Jr. He was trained by Fred, uh, by Freddie Roach. He was in camp with, with Freddie for 10 weeks. It was a 10-week training camp. And when um, and he said Freddie Roach did not show up in Canada for fight night, on, on fight night. So when he fought Earl Spence Jr., and I remember hearing that if you go back and look at the highlights of this fight, you're here, you will hear the commentator say that I give my hat off to Chris for getting this far without a trainer. So it was said, Dorn, I just don't know if anybody picked that up, that he was there without his trainer because Freddie Roach did not show up for that fight. And that's some cold-blooded shit. Ten-week training camp, you're a trainer and a very and a highly named trainer at that, and you don't show up for the fight. Is you know, it's kind of fucked up. But he said that was the nail in the coffin for him. You know, he uh, he lost that fight mentally before he got there, but he he walked into the ring anyway. And he walked into the ring knowing that he was going to lose. These these are his words. He walked into the ring. Um, he, he says, yeah, mentally, he said he, he lost the fight mentally, but he walked into the ring knowing that he was going to lose. Those are his words. And he said once he got into the ring, he realized, oh, I'm in the ring about to fight Earl Spence Jr., and he goes on to say it's one thing that he wanted to prove, and he proved that he could take a punch because he took he took clean punches um, from uh, Earl Spence Jr. and he did not get knocked out. He told himself he was not going to get knocked out, and uh, he um, he said even Earl told him that he is the he's the toughest guy that he's that he has ever faced in his pro career, and um, because of all of that, because of all of that. Uh, Van Her Van Herden said that he is uh, he's been Earl Spence has been his motivation to to keep up and to get back into a position where he can get a rematch. He said, "Yes, I want a rematch with Earl Spence Jr." and he wants to show the world that he can put up a better fight. First thing that I have to say is that when he fought Chris, he was eighteen and zero. Okay. He didn't really fight nobody before he fought Chris Van Hunt. Right before that was Phil, uh, Phil Agreco. He didn't even put up much of a fight. He just sat there and got hit the whole fight. Sammy Vargas. Samuel Vargas. I mean, the dude, um, <laughs> Javier Castro. That was the worst display of an opponent ever. That fight looked like Gotti versus Floyd Mayweather. It was horrible. But, um... Lardy, that's the only person that got a good hit on him, and like that was fight weight, like fights way before him. John uh, Jonathan Garcia, that was his, that was uh, Earl Spence's first fight, so he didn't fight anybody until he seen, until he met um, Chris Chris Van Herden at eighteen and zero. That's when he fought him. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, Chris Van Herden, I think he already had a draw and one loss on his record. Now, the five fights after that, which leads up to his record of being 23-0 right now, that's when he started to fight better competition. Got Barrera was his next fight. After that, it was Chris Algieri, then Leonard Bundu. Then he got then he fought Kel Brook and got the title. Then he fought Lamont Peterson. And now today, he's about to fight Carlos o um, o Ocampo. So, so, I'm just saying, like... Chris, I understand. I understand what you're saying. You know, your, uh, your your trainer wasn't there. He wasn't there to give you the points and stuff that you needed to uh, execute during the fight to make it a better fight in your in your favor. But just like you said, you mentally lost that fight before you walked in the ring. And that's a bad start. I don't care if you're a great fighter. If you already mentally lost that fight before you went into it, then you're not going to have you're not going to have a, a easy night at all. You know what I mean? So I totally understand that. And, uh, 
but besides that, yo, he says that, you know, he took a hard punch. He took all his punches clean and whatnot. I remember looking at another video. It was like, it's not that he hits terribly hard. It's like all of his punches are like 80%. And after a while, it puts a toll on you. Uh, Chris was knocked down twice in the seventh round. So he lasted all the way to the seventh before he was knocked down. He was knocked down twice in the seventh and the eighth round. The fight was stopped by the referee. But if you watch this fight, it's easy. you can find it on YouTube under um, Earl Spencer's fights. And just, you can watch the whole fight and you can see for yourself um, that he can take a nice, you know, a, a pretty good punch. But he wasn't hitting Earl Spence like that during this fight. His offense really wasn't there. His defense really wasn't there. I understand his, his head wasn't in the game. But the biggest thing I want I want to say is that, yeah, you've gotten better, Chris Hearn, and you wanted uh, Chris Harden. Hurting or whatever, and you need and you want to show the world that you're a better fighter than that. I understand that and all of that, but you lost to Earl Spence Jr. You didn't lose to no sorry fighter. You lost to Earl Spence Jr. You know what I mean? That's it's 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 all right. It's not it's not that bad. And you didn't have a trainer. Like you know, it's it's all good. Ain't nobody judging you like that. It was it was a good fight, but at the same time, I understand you leveled up. But so did Earl Spence Jr. He is not the same fighter he was when he fought you, Chris. That rematch would be worse than this first fight. Trust me and believe. You won't last eight rounds this time. If you if you get to fight him again, I'm telling you. It's not he's not the same Earl Spence he was at 18 and 0. He's not. And whenever and he says he wants to be to put himself into a position where he gets a rematch. So that's time down the line. This man it's just, and he's not going to do nothing but get better and better. He's he's going to level up too. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Earl Spence got upgrades just like you did. Like, don't don't think for one second, Chris, that you're going to come back into into this fight and, and make it better for yourself. Just take that loss for what it is. You did a good job and be gone. Always like and subscribe to the 